Hey everybody, welcome back. Here we've got a cool Filoon FX-133 Mini RC Quadcopter. A couple cool specs here. It's got headless mode, 3D stunt mode, one key landing. It's got a lithium ion battery. It says on the specs I'm reading here. So let's see what you get inside the box. Here's a, here's a couple more little things here lights yeah so all right it's like a fun little quadcopter to fly indoors but it probably looks big enough to fly it outdoors as well and we will try that i try to fly everything outdoors a really cool looking remote look at that here is the manual charging binding it's got directional lights Overview. USB charger, that's great. Here's a couple, some functions you can see here of the transmitter. And all these buttons, it has some cool features there. So, yeah, pretty cool. Look at that transmitter. No altitude hold on this one. Feels pretty cool. Oh, it's nice they label all the buttons for you. That's pretty awesome. Takes a screw. I'll guess it takes, uh, probably takes two double A's there. Judging by its size. We've got a USB charger, which is awesome. And four spare propellers. And we've got it zip tied in there. Let me get my knife out. And there is the quadcopter. Looks really cool. Bottom, little on off button there. Oh, that's cool. It's got lights all on the ends. Got red in the back, white on the front, or I'm assuming that's the front, I don't know yet. Turn that back off, and then your little charge port there. Those prop guards are really stiff, so that should be good for flying in the house and banging into stuff. So, yeah. So, there's the unboxing. We'll uh, get it charged up, get some batteries in the transmitter, and we'll come back with some flying. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, the weather outside has been terrible, so I've been diminished to the bedroom to f show you guys at least that this thing can fly. So, once we get some nicer weather, we'll get outside and do a little more on off switch here in the bottom. You'll do your up, down, bind. Lights are solid, ready to rock. So, here we go. Very stable. I'll try a flip, but I don't know if it'll catch it all on the camera, okay? Yeah, that was a nice little flip. Now we'll try one forward. No. Nope. Go that way again instead. <laughs> There's a forward flip. Oops. Front guard saved it right there, huh? Pretty cool. Here's high rate. You can see it's definitely definitely a little touchier, but no bad. There's low rate. There's second rate. You can see the yaw rate goes up quite a bit. Still very manageable though. Let's 
sorry, got out of, out of view here. But it flies really gate, great. It flies really great, it's really steady. Keep in mind this is not altitude hold. There is a land button, we'll push that now. There it goes. Yep, yep. Slowly going down, I'm not touching anything. There it just shut off on its own. So it landed all on its own. So that's pretty cool. There you go guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Very good flying machine. And once the weather shapes up, we'll get it outside and have a little fun outside. Okay, here's a quick look at the transmitter. So you got the land button. These are trims. You got your right, left, forward, back. Your yaw trim. Audio auto orientation or headless mode. Here's your rates for low, high, medium. Here's your flip button. So you push that and then choose which direction you want to flip. Obviously your throttle. So yeah, it's a pretty comfortable little transmitter and a pretty great flying machine. So hope you enjoy it.